Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're at the Minnetonka Tour Van today. I've got Thomas Campbell with me. Thomas, good to see you. Good to see you too. So we've been doing some comparison videos lately using TrackMan. You've been in the bay hitting a lot of shots. We're gonna switch it up today. I'm gonna get in there and hit some shots, which isn't gonna be as exciting for our users. But what we wanted to do is one of the new popular sort of categories in irons these days is the distance player's iron sort of with the clean classic look, yep. but giving players more ball speed, more distance. It's a great option for a lot of players, really good option for someone like me, more modest swing speed, could use a few extra yards as I get a little bit older. So we thought we would put a couple of the really good players distance irons up against each other today. Ping I-500, Srixon Z-585, and kind of see compared to my gamer right now, which is more of a traditional player's iron, what happens in terms of ball speed and distance? Yeah, I think it'd be a great idea to see someone that's, you know, not a professional player hitting for, for once. Obviously, we've had maybe a little bit of feedback from some of our customers saying, hey, we want to see some videos of some other people. So this would be a great test for to, to, to see as opposed to just having essentially a, a robot test with club to club. So everyone reacts differently to golf clubs. So. Yeah, and there's a number of irons that fall into this category. Like I said, we're going to focus on these two today, but yep. the new 2019 standard Apex, which you did a test with, another great option, JPX Hot Metal Pro from yep. Mizuno out this year. But we wanted to focus on these two. These two both have sort of a really clean, classic look, and we thought it'd be a lot of fun to see, like you said, somebody maybe a little bit more modest club speed, fat old guy, kind of see what he can get out of them. Well, let's get after it. All right, Chris, let's take a look at some numbers with both the Strixon 585 and the Ping i500. What I'll get, I'll get you to hit five, three shots with each of these clubs first, and then come back and hit three more, just so there's no bias between these different heads. Okay. So when you're ready, go ahead and hit the uh, Strixon 585 first. All right, will do. For our viewers that have been spoiled watching you hit balls, they're about to get unspoiled having to watch me <laughs> hit balls, so. It's quite okay. We get a completely different clientele coming in to get fit, so this will be a good education for everybody. We'll see what happens. So, Chris, in the past, you've been playing the Callaway Apex Pro 16 iron? Correct. Correct. Um, how have you liked that club so far? What, what's the reason why we may be looking at uh, a couple of these other different, maybe distance, more distance improvement irons? Yeah, I just feel like at my age, swing speed's going down a little bit. The Apex Pro is great, but yep. it's really a control iron. A few extra yards would probably benefit me in my game. Yep. Uh, and we're also going to try a little bit lighter shaft as well. I've been playing the Project X 6.0 which is a 120 gram shaft. Yep. So I just feel like maybe I'm having to work a little bit too hard. And even on my really good shots, I'm maybe leaving some distance on the table that equipment could help me with these days. Yeah, makes complete sense. And also these two type of clubs, they're a little bit more forgiving than the Apex Pro might be as well. Yeah. So it might just present just a little bit more confidence to you as well. That first one wasn't very good. That's but okay. okay. I definitely can have a delete button for the, for the miss hits. Let's see. Uh, get us one a little bit more on the golf course. A little bit straighter. More like. I'm going to take that first one out, let you hit a couple more with that one. And when you're ready, you can hit the next one. That's more close to the spin than I would have expected. Yeah, blocked it a little bit, but blocked I think it bit. was a result of the, just the face being open. And my path is always a little bit too much in to out. Makes sense. So with that path, my, you know, obviously I tend to hit a draw. Yep. Sometimes, you know, when you see it going a little bit too much left, the tendency is to hang on a little bit. Yep, you just left the face a little bit open on that one. That was all. That's there you seen go. better. That had more bowl speed to it. That should go just a little bit further. Very nice. And that's Notice, yeah. 
that's representative of my ball flight. Yep, that last one, your face angle was dead square to the target, but with your club path a little bit in the out, that's just why it drew a little bit more than the other two. All right, so let's take a look here with the I-500 as well. Okay. Give you that club, switch out. How did the Srixon feel on those three shots? The Srixon felt great, you know, it's got that sort of the forged feel you would expect. Yep. It's explosive feeling. I know it's got that SUP 10 face insert. Yep. And the ball feels fast coming off the face, but the feel is still sort of traditional forged. Yep, still got that forged. There's a 1020 stainless forge, I think they yeah. use. Yep, so it's still going to have that nice soft feel off the club face. Yeah, yep. good looking compact blade yep. shape. A little bit thicker top line, but that's kind of, you know, at this point, sort of maybe what I'm looking for. Yep. Uh, I'd say first impression here is that this is a little bit slimmer. Okay. Looks a little bit more like a player's iron, a little, let off, a little less offset. Uh, but again, this isn't a fully forged head, so it'll be interesting to see what the feel's like. All right, let's take a look at some numbers with this club. Sounded solid. It was solid, but probably a little left. That's pretty good. Oh. Wow. That went pretty far. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty solid right there. And interestingly enough, based on how I struck it, I was anticipating that ball to end up further left than it did. It was, wasn't too far offline. It was almost similar path to what your last swing was. Face angle was just a degree more close than the last one. So pretty good, same kind of sh shape as the last shot you hit with this rig's on. That was a good one. That was really nice too. Wow. That's for me long like I hit those better than the Srixon in fairness yep uh, but that's a that's a long and I know these lofts are a little bit stronger they're actually only half a degree stronger than the Srixon okay so Srixon 7 iron the 585 is 31 degrees okay the uh, I-500 is 30.5, wow, so it's only half a degree stronger. Obviously, it's going to be a little stronger than your Callaway yeah. um, Apex Pro, but just right away, just seeing that that was going a little further, yeah. really doesn't justify that distance between 165 and about sure, 180, sure. so that was what we noticed right away. Obviously, we'll come back and hit a couple more with this Rexon just to see if there's any bias. Maybe you are getting a little more warmed up, but let's you know, take a look. Yeah, see. yeah, I knew they were close. I meant the yep. Callaway I play now, I think it's 34, yep. so... You expect to see some, but that's more than I would expect to see, difference-wise. A little nice block. A little bit of a block. It was hit solid. Pretty solid right there. All right, so let's jump back, hit a couple more with the Srixon now. Ping. Difference between the ping and the Srixon right away, did you notice feel one felt maybe a little bit this better or? Definitely felt a little firmer off the face. Yep. Not hard, it wasn't clicky, just yep. sort of solid I would describe it. Um, but the ball felt like it was leaving fast uh, with the hollow design, what they're doing with the face to create ball speed, you could feel it. Okay. Feels hot. Yep, very nice. So. Back to the Srixon, hit three more with that, and then we'll hit three more with the I-500, and then we'll take a look at some numbers and compare the two of them. Hopefully I can give the uh, little better effort here with the Srixon. One sound a little bit more solid. That was better. Very nice. That was good. Yeah, I like that shot shape. What's interesting to me, too, is uh, going into, for this test, 
a lighter shaft, and we're even doing a regular flex. Yep. I wanted to see how that would perform at my swing speed. I don't feel like I'm giving up a lot of control. Yeah, no, it it's, 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 it hasn't been too bad. Um, I did notice your club speed's kind of been hovering around about 80 to 82 miles an hour. Technically, essentially 70 to about 78 miles an hour for 7.9 would be regular. So you're maybe just a little bit above regular. Yeah. Obviously, you're playing Project X 6.0. It's a fairly stiff shaft compared to that. So essentially 80, 78 to about 86 would be around about a good range for stiff flex. So we're kind of on the cusp between, between regular and yeah. stiff. Um, but it's just, you know, we wanted to have a fair test with these two irons. It's the two shafts that we had the stock offerings from both the Ping and Strix on. Yeah, and the Modus shaft feels really smooth. I've played Modus 120 in the past and always liked their product. Sounded pretty nice as well. That was good also. Very good. All right, hit one more of that club. right maybe but it was solid it just hung out on there out on the right there but yeah you like said it was pretty solid all right let's jump back to the ping now and get you to hit three more with the i500 and then we can analyze all the data thanks yeah the Strixon definitely has the more traditional forge feel between the two. It still feels hot, but it's definitely got that softer, sort of crisper, muted yep. kind of feel that a forge guy would expect. <laughs> this is kind of a different animal. Doesn't it is a different golf club. That's yeah. it's it's a, a unique one. It, yeah, I haven't quite fit it, figured out where it fits in in the Ping's line for sure. It's you yeah. know we've got they have the I blade, the I two ten, and the G four ten right now. Really, it's it's a unique one because it looks kind of like a compact blade, but it's got a lot more forgiveness to it. It's a really unique club. Yeah. 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 Maybe a nice. little right again, but solid. Yep. Yeah, Thomas, if I could just get that path a little more left, you'll help me with that another day. <laughs> that last one was a little better. That was only four degrees. Yeah, yeah. Yep. If I can keep it in the three, four range, it's usually pretty good. I usually tend to get the, the face pretty square at impact yep. most of the time. But when I get it closed with my path, the big hook can come out. That wasn't very good. That one seemed like it may have gone a little bit left. Yeah. Probably the one of the worst swings. Yep. It's been dropped way off, but still, for as poorly as that was struck, I would have expected worse. Yeah, for as poorly as that one was struck, it still carry, carried 165. Yeah. So that was that's pretty <laughs> interesting right there. Yeah, I mean, the spin was as bad as the strike was. We, we can see spin, how much the spin yep. dropped off. It dropped about 500, le less than what you were seeing typically with yeah. the I-500 numbers. Try to finish on a good one. That was hit really hard, maybe a little right. Yeah, maybe it's left the face just a little yeah. bit more open on that one. Notice that it was essentially matching up to your club path. So that's why essentially that was just a little bit of a, a push, essentially. Yeah. All right. So interesting to note, 
just by looking at this left screen on the, on the left, we notice the purple circle, that is the ping I-500. We notice distance-wise, we definitely hit the ping further every single time versus the Srixon. However, obviously we had a little tighter dispersion there with the, uh, with the Srixon, that is the yellow circle. We had this one over here that was, you know, kind of like a little bit of a miss that we, we mentioned that was probably one of the worst swings you made. So I'm actually just going to take that one out because I would consider that one an outlier. Um, but let's just kind of analyze some numbers. Before we do that, I'm also going to include your current club in there just to show some differences in numbers. You hit that earlier on just so we could get a difference and take a look at some, some differences between the three clubs. So first thing we can see right away is club speed with the Srixon and the i500 kind of ranging around about 81 miles an hour. When you were hitting yours, you maybe weren't quite as warmed up as well, but the Apex Pro is a little bit less club speed. Um, could some of that have to do with the heavier shaft as well? It could be a little bit, you know, a, a lighter golf shaft may help you swing a little bit faster, um, but I think also maybe you may be just getting a little bit looser, just getting a little bit maybe warmed up as well. So I think that's more the, the biggest thing we're seeing. The reason why I wanted you to hit you know, three with three first and come back and hit three more because I wanted to limit the bias between people saying, oh, there's a chance that maybe he's just getting more and more warmed up. So that's sure. why I wanted to come back and hit three with eight, three or three. Um, so we can notice right around 81 miles an hour with club speed. That number's not going to change a lot. That's more related to your golf swing. Um, what we do notice, though, is the ball speed with the ping I-500 there. 114.4 versus 110.7 with the Srixon. So we did get about four miles down more ball speed with the I-500. Um, so it was coming off the face hotter. Because your club speed and ball, uh, club speed were the same with both the Srixon and the Ping, we'll get a higher smash factor with the I-500. 1.41 smash is very, very, very good with a 7-iron. Really yeah. solid. We'll notice yours was 140, but you, it was maybe not quite going as far as you can kind of see on, the, on this left screen because your club speed was maybe just a little bit down. But you were efficient with your current iron as well. The Srixon, maybe not quite as efficient, 1.37 smash factor. All, you know, pretty good numbers. Um, if we look at launch angle, and we'll notice that the Ping i500 did launch about a degree lower than the Srixon. Um, but if we, what's interesting to note is the peak height with the I-500. So 107 versus 105 with the, with the Srixon 585. The tour average is about 100 to 110. So even though it launched a little lower with the I-500, and it also did spin just slightly lower versus the Srixon, the peak height was a little bit higher. So it essentially is going to allow you to have that stopping power on the green with a little bit higher, a little less spin. Ultimately, what that's going to mean, as I mentioned before, the ping essentially just went a little bit further. It was carrying about nine yards further than the Srixon, 166 versus 156 carry. And then distance you know, was about 175 total versus 166. So kind of really interesting numbers there. You almost had about a club more distance with the I-500. We'll notice with your current club, you're carrying about 150 going around about 160. So we definitely did pick up quite a bit of distance with the ping. Obviously, we picked up distance with the Srixon 585. Um, when you were hitting it, obviously, the Srixon did, you said it mentioned it feel, felt maybe just a little bit softer to the i500. Yeah, you, the give me some feedback on, on how you felt maybe the differences between the two clubs. Yeah, the Srixon, I, I like the ping, the look at address. You know, it's more in line with what I've traditionally played Yep. with that thinner top line sort of a compact blade, and then the less offset. Um, the feel, however, of the Srixon was more in line with what I've typically played. It yep. had that true sort of forged, softer, really kind of crisp feel, where this just sort of, the ping felt hot and explosive, almost like hitting, you know, a hybrid or a fairway wood, that sensation. Yep. But, you know, one of the things that, you know, I think I'd, for whatever reason, my strikes were better with the ping, so I think maybe over a larger sample size, the data would maybe close a little bit. I do think, based on what we've seen, the ping's gonna be longer. But, you know, 
what I really liked also about the ping, even though the, the circle looks, you know, from a dispersion standpoint, looks wider, I had a couple that I felt like I put pretty poor swings on that I expected to really be. Dive, dive left a little yeah, bit or not really quite carry like as far. Yep. Panel, penalizing on yep. the golf course that sort of hung in there and did pretty well. Yep. So I did delete one out, but I did want to kind of point out we got you know four right here that were pretty close together with the with the ping. So yeah. obviously we got the kind of outliers that were over here to the left. You know we did hit the Strix on a little bit straighter over on average. Now you mentioned it's a fairly small sample size, um, so maybe hitting more shots we may see those numbers kind of tighten up a little bit. Um, but essentially what we're seeing, I five hundred was going further in today's test versus the Strix on. Strixon was going further than your current club, so we definitely picked up distance. They're both in the distance category irons, you know, and also you know, they look pretty nice to look down at too. Yeah, yeah. and I, you know, again, that was sort of the test: is can somebody like me, decent player, getting a little older, m modest swing speed, can the technology get me more ball speed, get me more yards? And it can. And one of the things that really stands out to me in looking at all the numbers is. Some people will focus with the, the 585 and the I-500 on the spin rates for a 7-iron and be like, oh, those spin rates are too low. But when you look at the land angle, I'm never yeah. going to have any trouble stopping the ball. Yeah, so if you look at your carry distance with the I-500 was 162, total 175. Essentially, that means you had about 9 yards of, uh, of rollout right there. 157, 166, nine yards of rollout right there too. Even with your current club, we'll notice it was spun about 800 revs more than the I-500, 4,600 versus say 5,300. Um, but even with the carrying 150 going 159, it still rolled out nine yards. Yeah. So they all still had that same rollout because the, essentially the peak height and the landing angle helped us to stop the ball on the green. So yeah. you're not gonna have an issue holding the green. It's not a problem. Definitely really interesting how those numbers turned out. Well, Thomas, that was a lot of fun. It was interesting to hit both these irons. I couldn't put on the ball striking display that you typically do, but it's still some really interesting data. I'm actually surprised. You hit the ball really, really solid. These <laughs> clubs were going really far, like compared to your current irons. Obviously, we, we picked up about 15 yards of distance right there. I mean, that was, that was crazy. So, I mean, yeah. one club, or club in particular, the I-500, did go a little bit further. Now, it did spin a little bit less, however, because it was going a little further and also had a little bit higher peak height, the stopping power was still there with that golf club too. So it did go maybe just a little bit further. Um, you mentioned you maybe kind of like the feel of the Srixon maybe just a little bit better with the, the forged feel um, versus very, a very, very hot club face with the ping. Yeah, the ping, you know, with the numbers I saw and the results I saw, especially the miss hits, I, like we mentioned during the testing, a couple of shots that I thought were gonna be off the golf course hung in there pretty well. I could get used to the feel. I think I hit the ping a little bit better, so I'd be interested to hit the Srix on some more. I've liked their irons in the past. Yep. But overall, it was pretty eye-opening. I knew I'd see some ball speed increases, some yards increases, but the amount surprised me. So I think it's something that I'm gonna have to look at and, and players who are sort of in my category, or maybe you're a, somebody who's newer to golf and kind of really getting better, these would be great options for that kind of player as well. But uh, it's an exciting category with the technology that the companies have been able to put into irons like these to really benefit players in terms of distance and forgiveness, but still give them that look and feel that they want. Yeah, a little bit of extra distance doesn't hurt anybody at all. I mean, we, we noticed that we got it with both the Srixon and the I-500. I really like the fact that you were hitting it a little bit higher and also, as you mentioned, those miss hits were going a little bit straighter with both of the clubs actually. So, you know, we definitely had forgiveness, but it also picked up a little bit dis of distance. But those clubs also looked pretty, pretty clean to look down at as well. That was fun, Thomas. I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that was, that was really exciting.